welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create the look that i'm wearing right now get into it it's super batty this has been a look that i've been going for for the past like two weeks now it's super full coverage it's gonna last you two days because i'm the type of person to sleep with my, my makeup on and yes you can sleep with, with your makeup on if you guys love full coverage if you love dramatic lashes if you love that whole body movement and don't know how to achieve the hold on y'all hey get out of there get out of there my dog is in here so she's literally eating all of my stuff but yeah, anyways, you guys, let's just go ahead and get right into the video and let's get into it. Before I always start my makeup, I always make sure to use a serum, then a moisturizer, and then a primer. So skincare, I'm using the Clinique um, serum. And it's just something cute to like really hydrate the skin. It's just bomb. And then for my moisturizer, I'm going in with this one. This is the Murad SPF. I really do like this one because I feel like it kind of has a little like um, grip to it. So that way when you do your makeup, like it sticks even better. So that's cute. That's cute. Okay, we're just going to like let this sit on the skin. Let me take a little sip of my Starbucks. It looks disgusting right now. I got a pink drink. I got a pink drink with cold foam. Best concealers in the game, period. Um, these are the Born This Way Too Faced and um, mind you, I do have dry skin. I do have dry skin, but you can use these for people who have oily skin. Um, I just think you would have to bake a little bit longer. But I love these because it's legit looks like skin. I'm going to put this all over the eyes. Boom, boom, boom. And then also like on my under eyes while I'm at it. So what have y'all been up to? I, I actually saw somebody. I don't know if it, it wasn't a tweet because I don't have Twitter. But somebody was like, I miss old school makeup tutorials. Like, I just feel like times change, you know? I think that's what it is. Times change. Trends change. And I just feel like maybe some people just aren't into it anymore. Oh, also because like TikTok and shit, you know? I really was gonna um go live into my makeup. But I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do it for YouTube so that way it lives longer. Go ahead and set the eyes just with a little bit of powder. This is a powder that I just, this is my holy grail, you guys. There is nothing better than this powder, which is the Huda Beauty. And I always cut off the little net thing because ain't nobody got time to be dusting and, you know, doing all of that. So I'm taking this and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just set the eye, just kind of like, just like slightly. So that way, you know, when you put on your, your shadow, it's not like going all over the place. This is my favorite palette at the moment. This one is by BH Cosmetics. It's called the Ultimate Matte 42 Color Shadow Palette. She's been used and abused, but these mattes are so creamy. I've already tried ordering another one because, like I said, she's been used and abused. But I don't know. They're just like sold out or something or they just like don't sell it. But like I feel like every time I try to use another palette, because I'm going to go in with this color right here. This shade right here, bomb. Like literally... Just perfect for like an everyday kind of look. I feel like the palettes from back in the day used to be better than nowadays, right? Is it just me? Is it just me or have times changed? So what I do is I literally just like drag it up. Like I literally drag it upward this way. I usually like spend a lot of time on the transition color because I feel like that's the most important. go in with this shade right here which is like a little uh darker um this is the morphe times jacqueline hill jh34 and i'm going back in with that original transition color that we use which is this one and we're just gonna pretty much blend up like this and don't be scared to get in the brows for the lid color i'm gonna go in with a concealer 
Uh, preferably something lighter than what you put on your base. These makeup shack brushes are so good. And I'm going in with the, like a fluffy brush like that. Like it's not super flat because I don't want to make it a cut crease. Like I don't want to make it like a sharp cut crease. You know what I'm talking about? Like I just want the lid color to like come out pretty. Tap. And then leave that leave as is like don't touch it don't move it don't nothing even if it looks like messy because i don't know i just i've never been really good at cut creases so i kind of try to find like i found like a method that you that works for me as far as like making it not super sharp to where it's like if you don't have the right brush it's gonna look messed up okay so now that you have that on the lid, notice it's kind of like messy right there. We're going to go in with our crease color, which is that darker brown. And we're just going to pretty much like blend in the top like this. Now we're going to go in with the, with the Wumbo ass brush. This is the Makeup Shack. I don't know, the Wumbo. It's like, it's like a, it's like a fluffy one, you know, it's a big one. And I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, this white one. And I feel like when you use a Wumbo brush like that, like you're not trying to really be like precise. And it's also like, I feel like it covers a lot of the eye fast. It's like, ain't nobody got time for that. Cause I got bronchitis and ain't nobody got time for that. The smoke got me, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Do you guys remember when that video was viral? That shit was so fucking funny. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time. And dude, they made literally, they literally made um, remixes to that song. Ain't nobody got time for that. Back in with the crease color just to kind of, just to, okay. Boom. So eyeliner. There's no way to try to like teach how to do it, you know. You just gotta like watch and learn. Shut the fuck up and watch and learn. So I'm using the e.l.f. eyeliner. This is the best eyeliner in the game right now. You know, it's the best eyeliner in the game. So I fucked up the line and they're probably not gonna look the same, but you just kind of have to get over it. What I do is like I get a brush with concealer. And then just like clean it like this. You can like make the line a little shorter and then you do the same thing up top. So I'm gonna get a little bit of concealer and then you just go up like this. Like we're just gonna cover that hoe up. See, bam! Time to move on to lashes. I feel like I love to put on my lashes right away because I feel like that's what gives me hope and makes me feel like, ooh, I'm almost done with my makeup. The Batty B Faux Mink Lash Book. And we also have the Batty B XL Lash Book. So it just, it just depends what type of bitch you wanna be for the day. Like you wanna be that bitch or you wanna be that bitch. It just depends, you know what I mean? These are longer. So I feel like I'm kind of feeling the more longer ones. Let's just try some out. I always like to try them on, see kind of what I'm feeling, and then move on. So this is what it would look like. Super pretty. I feel like it'll give kind of like a doll effect, which I think that would kind of be cute. This one is called Scandalous. So as always, you want to make sure that you cut off the edge of the lash because you want to make sure that it fits you good so what i do is i put the glue on the lash right and then i stamp it to my eye so you have like double insurance so they don't fall off but on a good amount you're gonna stamp your eye like this watch are you watching and then boom like like this Okay, so you see it's stamped like that. So that way, while that one's drying, you can move on to the next one. So now we're just going to let that dry. I'm using my Batty B fan. You guys, we do have these on the website too. And trust me, they really do make a difference. I use them every time I do my makeup. You know what, dude? I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass because I forgot to put primer. 
I'm gonna have to wipe off right here, the bottom of it. So moving on to primer, you guys, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is so fucking good. This is my favorite. I know that a lot of people have been talking about the, the e.l.f. one, but honestly, I haven't tried the e.l.f. one. And I don't think I'm going to try it right away. Like, I'm just going to wait to finish this bottle because damn, it's like, you know, we're out here buying all this makeup and it's like, okay, am I really using everything? Especially because I just bought the Putty Primer. I bought this one, the Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f., so I haven't even used it because I'm stuck on the Hydro Grip. I'm obsessed, like obsessed with the Dose of Colors foundation. This is what I've been wearing for months now. I always do like to conceal under, under eyes before I even apply foundation. Shade 119. I do like to go a few shades darker than my skin tone. I would say that this foundation is like a medium coverage for sure and um, keep in mind I do have dry skin we're also gonna drag it down the neck ladies For the second layer, um, I usually like to layer it on just like in the spots that I feel like I need it the most. And I'm going to be going in with 117 since, since this is like the lighter um, foundation and I, I just didn't mix it right. Okay, so I'm just going to add this. Probably add a little bit everywhere since I didn't mix it. gonna just take like a this little concealer brush that I use and we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of blend whatever's left over into not into the lace but just kind of like bring it up so that way you know you can make your wig last a little longer and you don't want to get your lace dirty moving on to cream contour you guys this is my obsession Huda Beauty is the shit so for this I love to use the Morphe Y10 and this is also the Makeup Shack T37. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this cream. This is in the shade Light. And I'm just going to place it in the areas that we want to contour. I was supposed to conceal underneath my eyes first. So I was like, why does it look so weird right now? Sorry, y'all. It's because my routine is all fucked up because it's been a long time since I filmed and like did a makeup video. But that's okay. I'm going to go in with golden beige to highlight underneath the eyes. And then I'm just going to bring this down the nose like this. Because you just want to make sure that you're snatching the nose too. And um, then I'm going to use a darker one on the outer because I want the brightness to just be on the inner part of the eye because sometimes like I'd be seeing some girls with like super bright under eyes, which is cute, you know, but like, no te pases de verga tampoco, you know, I literally did the wrong color. <laughs> I'm going to go in with light beige, dude. I'm literally a fucking mess. Like I put the wrong color. Let's just pretend that I'm adding the right color, right? So now I'm going to go in with light beige down the nose on the chin area and then we're going to use a darker color golden beige golden beige or just something a little bit slightly darker and then we're going to use that on the outer right here like this. contour we're just gonna go over what we just did <laughs> we're just gonna go over the contour like this just to blend in the highlight so i'm just gonna use a smaller brush to contour the nose with this i always start right here at the base and then drag it down keep that nose skinny ladies imagine what you want your nose to look like and you're just gonna make it skinny like this Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of 
try to make this look smaller right here. Okay, so I can just start blending everything in. We're gonna set the face using Huda Beauty. Duh, this time we're gonna use the pink powder. This is in the shade Cupcake and it is a pink powder y'all and we're going to be using it with one of these you definitely need one of these if you really want to get that ultra ultra face tune instagram baddie in real life okay so we're just going to go ahead and set underneath the eyes and we're using pink because that's just going to help like cover your under eyes too oh you guys I cut this shit open because I was like, ain't nobody got time to be doing the most. Okay, bam. Okay, isn't that so pretty? And this is also gonna like sculpt the face. If you guys haven't tried the um, Huda Beauty powders, girl, you really need to stop what you're doing and go and get the Huda Beauty powders. Okay, so now we're gonna take the other Huda Beauty powder, the one that we used on the eyes. This is another color. This is in Pound Cake. And we're going to put this in the middle of the face. Like here. Here. Forehead. And then down the nose. We're going to take a smaller brush. And then whatever we didn't set, we're just going to go ahead and set. And you want to make sure you're tapping. You're not like buffing. You're tapping. Because this is, you don't want to like ruin the foundation that we applied. And we want like the maximum coverage ever. But like we also, like I like to bake but only on certain parts of the face. Um, I don't really like to bake everything completely, you know. So like you know how um, we set the nose just down the middle. Just make sure whatever is left over you're kind of just like getting in those areas that you never really set now don't set the neck right here because we're still going to do our chest foundation so you don't want to set it and then it look gunky after so i literally just dust it off with that same brush that we were like going in with for bronzers this one has been my all-time favorite this morphe one so beautiful like literally so beautiful this is in the color icon and it is the perfect bronzer color i feel like their bronzers are really bomb like they're not too warm they're not too tan like sometimes you just need like a little just a little dust of something right so this brush that i'm using is the morphe m403 i use it for blush i use it for powder i use it pretty much for everything for bronzer everything let me just kind of blend this cheek out because she's looking a little you see how she's a little harsh i also like to go in with this fenty beauty one because i feel like it's slightly warmer so i kind of use it as like a blush and think about it whatever you do on your cheeks you have to do on your nose too we're going to start right here at the base to connect the shadow with the nose like if you connect the nose with the shadow it just really really gives you that snatched effect okay so pretty i think i kind of want to work on the chest foundation because it's like bugging me that i'm two different colors right now so let's just go ahead and do that i'm obsessed with the kkw foundations the body ones they're so good And then I just sprayed my chest with some Fix Plus so that way we can get some moisture going. And we're going to be mixing light with fair. A little bit of fair. And I'm just like, Kim, your website has been down for I think almost like a year. Because I love her lip liners and I've been waiting to like restock on um, Nude too. The coverage is amazing. Like this is really going to like help finish off your glam. I always like to put it on the shoulders and you guys this does not come off like the reason why like I know you're probably thinking why can't she just use her face foundation that she used but um, it's because the formula is different even when you shower like you have to scrub it off because it's waterproof and I'm gonna set that with a big ass brush let me show you this big ass brush that I got 
from Sonia Kashuk at Target. When I saw it, I was like, you're coming home with me. Because um, when I set my foundation of my body, like I legit need something big. So now I feel like I'm ready to move on to the brows. So let's go ahead and brush these out. And I'm a pomade girl, so we're gonna be going in with the pomade. Um, I know feathered brows are so in, but for somebody like me that has really thin brows, ain't nobody got time for that. We're gonna be using the Anastasia brush in 7B. And for the brow pomade, we're gonna be using LA Girl Dark Brown. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Because you know when you have blonde, well, if you have blonde brows, I always like to mix a little bit of concealer with the pomade. Because, you know, I've had dark hair for a while and it's hard for me to continuously go buy new brow colors. So what I do is I legit like mix the concealer with the brow color and it'll give you like a lighter shade to kind of match your brows. So I always like to draw a line first. I'm gonna do this brow and then you'll be able to see when I do this side. See that? And then now we're just gonna fill in the brow before we get to the top part. Cause you're just kind of building a base first around like the natural shape of your brow. Now that we have the base, we're gonna go ahead and make the shape on the top. So for this, I usually like to just focus on like the edge of it. So it's kind of hard to explain, but just watch. I kind of like drag it out upward this way, um, even though I don't have hair there. That's why I like to use pomade because I feel like pomade, you can really mimic a fake bad bitch brow, you know? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love the feather brows. Like, if I had beautiful, big, bushy brows, like, I would totally be down. But I really have no hair. And, like, I feel like this, you're able to really um, shape and mimic a fake brow. So, you see that? Look how bomb that is. Bomb! Cool. So, the brows are done. And I feel like... To me, it's easier to do brows last because you're able to create those sharp lines. You don't even have to conceal it. And I feel like you don't spend as much time. For brow gel, I'm literally going to add more concealer to this brow gel. I love using concealer to like lighten up shit. Because I don't have, I don't have a, a brow gel that's kind of like blonde vibes. And I just want to add a little bit of blonde to this brow. Okay, cute. So now... I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of water to kind of clean off um, the dust that I got on my lashes. So just get a little bit of water and just... Okay, so I had to kind of change the lighting up a little bit because I feel like the sun was being too bright. So hopefully um, everything looks good. So anyways, we're kind of towards the end of... The makeup look, I just feel like I always get freaked out on like the last minute little details of the makeup because it's literally a lot. But I feel like right now I want to do my lip liner. Yeah, I'm going to mix Toasty with Spiffy by Morphe. So this is what the two colors look like because I don't want it to look too dark either. I'm just going to get a little makeup wipe and kind of wipe off a little bit on the inner part of the lip. And then add a little bit of lip moisturizer. Just so that when we add the lipstick, it's not that dry. I feel like the lips are super important for a baddie look because that like sets the stage, right? That like sets the tone. And 
And then for my lipstick, I'm gonna use something that's top secret. So remember I had told you guys that um, I was working on something for Batty B. Oh my gosh, this is one of my Batty B lipsticks that's coming soon. You guys are legit getting a sneak peek because this is what I've been wearing for a while. And to try to get this formula down, like it's literally been super hard. Yeah, this is actually a Batty B sample. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm showing you guys. And you want to go over the lip liner too, just so you could blend everything out. So after you apply that, you just want to go back in with the lip liner, just to kind of like blend in that lipstick. It took us a really long time to formulate this formula because we wanted it to be matte and mimic kind of like a, a liquid lipstick, but still give you comfort, you feel me? So now that the lips are done, I feel like now we can go in with blush. Cause sometimes I feel like you should put on your lipstick first. Like there is no right or way on how to do your makeup, but I feel like once you have your lipstick on, like now you're able to tell how much blush you could put on, what color blush to put on, how much highlight to put on. I'm actually gonna use this. I know it looks super bright, but like to get that really pretty pink on the on the face. This is the Hank and Henry Lust and Lush. So we're gonna go back in with that brush that we use for the bronzer and we're gonna take some of that pink. You just wanna smile while you put this on. And you see how, like when you have a really neutral look, you could really go in with your blush because everything's neutral. So I feel like the pop of color would be your blush super pretty and then i'm also going to top it off with this dior um blush it's really cute you guys this is one of my favorites okay so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to setting the face we're gonna set the face and um then we're gonna apply the highlight then we're gonna set the face with the spray that's gonna leave your makeup on all day so i first like to spray the full entire face with fix plus by mac just because we want to make sure we rehydrate the skin with all those powders we put it can kind of look um really powdery so you want to make sure to do that especially if you have dry skin and then we're gonna go in with after we put the highlight we're gonna go in with the charlotte Tilbury because it's literally the bomb so how you're gonna spray it is like this so you're you're literally just gonna go in okay boom I know it, it can look scary because your face looks wet but that's why you're just gonna dry it off this lip color bitch everything oh my god it's so bomb Okay, so for um, the highlight, I'm going in with the Nicole, Nicole Guerrero um, face, face palette. This shit is old. This came out years ago, but honestly, I feel like there is nothing better than this. Like, this is my favorite highlight palette. I'm going in with Kitty Cat just because I feel like we're going for that pink kind of vibe. And the brush that I'm using is the MAC... 240s this is so fucking bomb for highlight it's bomb for like um putting brightening underneath your eyes and i feel like it applies products so smoothly so now we're gonna go ahead and detail the nose for that we're gonna use a tiny little brush like this this is the morphe m213 and we're gonna go in with kitty cat and we're just gonna do a little dot like this and then we're gonna drag down the nose and this is just going to give you even more of an illusion of a snatched nose. Just to kind of blend that out. And then we're also going to put this underneath the brow. Just like slightly. Just so that way the glow all over the face kind of like matches, you know? So when the light hits you, it's like you're, you're just like a little highlighty. You know what I'm saying? Like not super highlighty because you still want to go for that matte look. But just enough to be like, ooh, like that bitch is pretty. That bitch is pretty. This is so bomb, y'all. Like so fucking bomb. Um, so now I think we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna put lower lash mascara. 
And I'm gonna also go in with a little bit of highlighting powder underneath the eyes. I always like to do this like at the very end. Um, these are the powders from MAC. Just to kind of really get like that extra full coverage underneath the eyes. Especially if you guys love like a super duper bright under eye. Not bright under eye, but like a full coverage a full coverage moment. Okay, cute. So I'm now I'm going to go ahead and finish setting my face with the... This is the Party All Night Setting Spray. Now, when I tell you guys this setting spray is the best. Like, this is the best setting spray in the game right now. I have tried everything. The mister is so smooth. Like, it sprays the perfect amount and it really, really does set the makeup. So after I did the um, MAC one, we're just going to go ahead and do the same process like this. One, two, three, four, five. Get that face fully covered, y'all. You did not do your makeup for all that time for it to not last. Okay. Going back in. And that's why you want to leave the mascara till the very end because if you have lower lash mascara and you do this, like it could potentially like mess up your lower lash because then it'll bleed. Okay, so I went ahead and put my lower lash mascara. I'm going to go ahead and change, you know, fix up my hair and then I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, you guys so this completes the video i went ahead and put on my little outfit um this is like a little two-piece set that i got from downtown la and then it does come with a little sweater so if you want to cover up you don't want to show your chichis you could do that it's over here don't mind the mess in the background but anyways i'm so obsessed with how the look came out don't mind if the lighting looks a little off it's because the sun went down but i still wanted you guys to see the details isn't it so worth it the whole entire process that we did like the lashes look super bomb. The um the skin looks super bomb. Vente, baby. Vente. Vente. I brought in my BB girl. It's because earlier she had shit in her cage. So I put her outside because I think she has pieces of shit on her. And I literally just got her groomed yesterday. So I was like, you're going to stay outside because she has little bits of shit. But this is BB Gills. Say hi, BB Gills. Say hi. A bit. Okay, chill, girl. Chill. But she's a happy little girl when she's inside. She's literally super happy. I think she's thirsty though because she's been running around. You've been running around, huh? You've just been a crazy girl. You've just been a crazy girl. If you guys want to purchase the lashes, you can go ahead and click the link down below. Like I said, you guys can use my coupon code Jenny69 at checkout. I will also go ahead and list... Um, any other coupon codes that you guys might want to use in the description part down below If you guys love this video, please be sure to like don't forget to subscribe and also send this video to one of your close girlfriends Especially if um, your friends want to learn how to do makeup or they don't know what to do send them over my way If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please be sure to do so. I'm always on Instagram all the time I literally live on Instagram, but yeah, I love you guys all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye